good humble squad it's your boy humble ziggy i'm back in here with another video and today we're here with greasy hendrix joe budden now the thing is this song even though this song was like two years ago or so because this was on 2019 on may 8th as i saw on the wait let me see if i'm right yeah may 8th 2019 the thing is this was recommend this was like recommended from my, one of our subscriber one of my person one of the people who subscribed to me and such saying that i should react to it shout out to stone technician tech nine mission or so shout out to him saying that i should react to this track and he's saying keep on keep supporting the independence brother so hey shout out to him for that shout out to that shout out to that person and hey it's like this y'all back and it's like this y'all back in around 2018 2019 and such a lot of people used to i don't i, I don't want to say hate joe budden but sometimes most people can't agree with joe budden on certain things and such and it's like this when eminem like on his kamikaze album and most preservedly the or actually when in 2018 when he did like the just shot and such he was going but i think in his album too in kamikaze some songs are so he was going in on joe button about stuff joe button says about eminem's especially when joe button was this like trying to say eminem's album after before kamikaze which was revival saying it was trash and all and and it's like this regardless what y'all think right it's like this so most of y'all music people most of the people who are like hip-hop heads and all look even if most of the times when eminem going to some like politician or so i don't know maybe because me personally i didn't hear of the i didn't listen to most of the album and so because i didn't know eminem at that time released an album called revival and such but i didn't know about the kamikaze and so but it's like this y'all whatever em all i gotta say is this even if people hated on the album and such at the end of the day the man still went like platinum or platinum or so or if not gold with his album and such so either way even his songs even his things that people didn't like the most still went platinum so at the end of the day it is what it is but it's like this y'all a lot of times people be saying joe button is whacked out or so so for a certain period of time and such or like i said around 2018 and 2019 people wasn't liking joe button that much maybe they still maybe they like him today or so or tolerate him so but regardless back in those back in 2018 2019 people didn't like him so much so let's see what this is all about so we better check this video out make sure you like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get in the video relationship with joe button how do you describe you describe you describe how do you describe your relationship with How do you describe you describe you describe you describe you describe How do you describe your relationship with Joe Button? It's ever so sensitive, I can't even diss. I took a shot at hope on sway, but that's where it ends. If I decide to go with Joe, they'll jump on my dick. Come from an era and niggas getting body by M. So don't blame this shit on me, go and blame it on him. It's less competitive, cause every rapper's full of estrogen. You got these males in a dress, I don't post to raise a kid. Males in a dress, that's that post office shit. Even Yellow Wolf tried to take post office shit. But this new generation is always having a fit, but not new clothes and kicks. Just run their lips like a bitch, but who gon' listen to? Grizz with a face looking like this I'm like him in the mix with Kiss My lyrics don't make sense My image is too weird My music is too this So niggas can't comprehend Why my face is anonymous But I'm an anomaly I'm just being an optimist But I mm. Hey, so far It's like this When it comes to Joe Biden Like I said at the start of this People didn't like him as much And I see why And so far Right now I don't know 
when he's this out, but I'm gonna keep on listening. Just run their lips like a bitch, but who gon' listen to Grizz with a face looking like this? I'm like him in the mix with Kiss, my lyrics don't make sense, my image is too weird, my music is too this, so niggas can't comprehend why my face is an out of miss, but I'm an anomaly, I'm just being an optimist, but I can't complain when niggas is broke with no pot to piss, there's real shit going on in this world, like why Prince had to die quick, niggas will say it's an accident, like Michael ain't try to warn us before and give us a glimpse that this industry is shady, that's why my chances are Slim, how these rappers mm. flip on Slim Shady and such. I want to hear that again. Hold on, let me hear that again. World like why Prince had to die quick. Niggas will say it's an accident. Like Michael ain't try to warn us before and give us a glimpse that this industry is shady. That's why my chances are slim. Mm, this industry is shady. That's why my chances are slim. Hey, sometimes it's like this. Most of the times, the music industry, nine times out of ten. When it, like in today's society and such, when it comes to the music industry, it don't matter if you got the rapping ability or like the skills and such. Nine times out of ten, the music is all about if you can get a hit or be in clubs. That's all. That's right now how it is. Because if you don't got at least bars in your music or storytelling wise or so in your music, or if you do have it and such, Nine times out of ten, in today, like I said, it's like this. Is in my age group and such, in our, in my generation and such. Well, and there's a few who would listen to some lyricism and such, like me and such. But then there's the majority who really, if they would listen to something that either is like for most, per, like for when it's in a club. Or when you like twerking to it or so for the ladies and such. So that's how the music music industry is sometimes. Michael ain't try to warn us before and give us a glimpse that this industry is shady. That's why my chances are slim. How these rappers woke but in the booth with closed eyelids. How they so pro black but got a Gucci stylist. And these the rappers y'all picks the wondering why tip cold. And that's another thing. Back in that time, let's just say there was some controversy 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 with Gucci. Not the rapper, the clothing brand where it was like showing some racist black things and such and a lot of people, some some rappers or so wasn't effing with that so but then there are some saying that they didn't care because they're still gonna want to wear it and such it is what it is. So pro black but got a Gucci stylist and he's the rappers y'all picks the wondering why tip Called out Wayne, but ain't called thug for the same shit. But then made it public. But y'all won't discuss this. Man, I'm so disgusted. How y'all put trust in? Reality shows always showing us shucking. Just look at Joe Button in and look at Joe Button now. I bet the Black Panthers proud. What kind of niggas allow? Cooning on camera just to make these white people smile. Damn, homie. And Clue takes you as the man, homie. Ah, uh, you doing a little 50 cent thing right there. From his wank his wankster. Song and such that little white right people here. smile, damn homie. Uh, and Clue <laughs> takes you as the man, homie. What the fuck happened to you? I know you I got know. the bag and then turn into a clown. And I'm the one with the face pink, but you the one on trial. So fuck a Joe Button. Now you judge Joe Brown. Don't let Ooh. so F a Joe Button. Now you judge Joe Brown. Damn. And y'all remember when and it's like this for who was watching Judge Joe Brown back in the day? It's like this. The man was sometimes biased because he going to start talking about how people were sophisticated and such when one, him himself, is from the hood. Like, I don't remember if he was from Chicago or so and so, but literally, I saw where he got in, like, he was arrested in jail. And the man was literally trying to tell the other judge that he's just going to come out. Like, dude. You are a former judge. You're no longer the judge. That means you don't work. You're not it anymore. You're just a regular citizen. But at the end of the day, dude, he was just sentenced to jail immediately. One with the face pink, but you the one on trial. So fuck a Joe Button. Now you judge Joe, Joe Brown. Brown. Don't let them use you as a tool. That's the sin like your mute. So mouse don't get confused and let Mona Scott skew your nah. brain into being cruel for some views on the tube. Where they don't even pay, and I swear I'm the living proof. And 
Ain't that an oxymoron? I be blacking in the booth And I ain't even dissing, dude I'm just sick of niggas who Switch sides, Westbrook Praying that us niggas lose Don't ever get it misconstrued Got us niggas on the news Channel 5 on the news Chanel bags for your boo Your ghost right, it gets booed I heard the song, I ain't moved Charlemagne, MGK, you just spit a bunch of bull I got these horns on my head Tell Satan what it do I'm on the industry's heels Like some red bottom shoes Niggas try to pick and choose Like if hip-hop got rules Only time these rappers battle When it's beneficial True. Think about it. Even if it was back then, back in around that year or so, or today, let's face it. If you gonna do a rap battle and such with other rappers, there's gotta be some money in it. It ain't gonna be for the sake of competition and such, or sake of culture. They gonna run really know if there's gonna be money involved. Cause if it ain't, that's when you know rappers. They not really rappers. Then they just here for the bag. On my head, tell Satan what it do. I'm on the industry's heels like some red bottom shoes. Niggas try to pick and choose like if hip hop got rules. Only time these rappers battle when it's beneficial. Me, I'm with whatever lyrically, I'm just that rude. I don't mm. care about the money, you can tell by my moves. Y'all can milk the game like cowards, I drop the jewels and speak mm. truth. The youth that's thinking they so cool. But I'm done with this fiasco, the rap game's doomed. Can't wipe up the game, we no longer got a groom. Got that num num juice, I school these boys like you. Mm. Got that num num juice at school. These boys like I'm cute school boy. Cute. Ooh, the word name, the word play on his name, bro. Bro, it's like this, bro. Like I gotta say again. I said it in a different reaction video. I'm gonna say it again. Shout out, thank, shout out to Eminem for letting me able to do stuff like this now. Able to actually hear the lyrics and react to it in a very great way. Cause if it wasn't for him, I couldn't be able to. I'll be straight up with you. I will still be able to listen to some mumble rappers and such. Like the likes of Lil Pump and so and so. But it's a good thing now that thanks to M. Hell, think about it. If it wasn't for M right now, even some rappers you would say who are mumble and such like 21 Savage, Lil Uzi Vert, and so and so, you would think that now they not mumble. But right now even when they still talking about their gangster ish and such they tend to get a little lyrical on it so thanks to eminem some mumbo rappers or so are somewhat turning into just a little not a lot but just a, got a little lyrical in them so shout out to m for that up the game, we no longer got a groom. Got that num num juice. I school these boys like you. Throw them over the roof. Dog, don't make me shoot. Duck in front of boys in blue like I ain't went to Catholic school. Big smalls, big tube. Now y'all acting brand new like y'all new grand poop. That's why I can't stand fools. I don't need street crap. What the fuck is that gonna do? When you in the pen with pie rules, about to eat your food. I'm. Yeah. That's the thing. Y'all niggas always wanna prove. Y'all wanna be gangsters and all. Nigga. Not everybody wants to be gangster, okay? Because nine times out of ten, that gangster life and such, what you want to be, could end up you being dead right on the street. So, I don't give a damn what anybody say. It's like this. I know, I know for sure, no matter what stuff I go through in my life and such, one thing I'm never going to turn to is being a gangster. Because I don't want to say it's bad things or so and so. It's just that, why would I want to turn my life over to doing something to... It's like basically going to take somebody's life in order to provide my life. To me personally, I don't want to do that. So, it is what it is. Now y'all actin' brand new like y'all new grand poop That's why I can't stand fools I don't need street crap What the fuck is that gonna do? When you in the pen with pie rules About to eat your food I'm trying to get to that money That bag's being secured No okay. yeah. fuck what you heard These other rappers gonna splurge And tell you how they just caught their girl a Gucci purse Coon ass niggas promoting them in a verse It's only adding to their worth Y'all don't know the power of words Fuck my people cursing That ain't even the worst Paul like Nas Barber when he be cutting his hair Like Mook verse verb I'm too witty with these words speaking of mook we all seen them cool for yes jewels at backlash was super bad how it hurt you don't get smoked like a philly will he end up in you don't get smoked like a philly jewels mm. at backlash was super bad how it hurt you don't get smoked like a philly will he end up in a hearse will he die like a martyr will he end up getting hurt or will he change for the fame when he's staring in a mirror y'all could tune in next season
season, it's gon' get a little clearer Though my image ain't appealing like Jordan, I'm still revealing Us niggas feel like the tether, so we gotta stick together Double standards just oppresses, the pressure's on our oppressor And if whites get offended, obvious y'all ain't helping I'm trying to change your perspective, using words is a weapon So few of discretion is advised when putting on this record Reckon you can't respect me being too introspective Why it's so hard to connect in a world that's being neglected And artificial intelligence is making it where every single person that I talk to come across like they on Henny, they pay out people with pennies. This might come off sounding petty, but ass puffy. I'm pretty sure they gave Joe a heavy. Damn, mm -hmm. yo, it's like this. I'm just like chilling in the moment because I'm just trying to hear every single thing that he's saying right now. So I'm gonna take it back just a little bit so that way I can hear everything. Stop pressing if whites get offended. Obvious y'all ain't helping. I'm trying to change your perspective. Using words is a weapon, so few with discretion is advised when putting on this record. Reckon you can't respect me being too introspective. Why it's so hard to connect in a world that's being neglected and all mm. Why it's so hard to be. Hold on, I want to hear that. I just want to get that one. Respect me being too introspective. Why it's so hard to connect in a world that's being neglected. Mm. Why it's so hard to be connected in a world that's being so neglected because it's like this with society today people hell even if it was then right there in 2019 or to now people are so like trying to distance themselves from truth and all they would literally take lies that are truthful to them over the actual truth and all this whole damn cancel culture bs and such like jesus christ Like we can sorry I had to respond to a text, but basically it's like this, bro. The way how it is today and such, people are too damn sensitive about the minor things, the littlest of things or so. Reckon you can't respect me being too introspective. Why it's so hard to connect in a world that's being neglected and artificial intelligence is making it where every single person that I talk to come across like they on handy. They pay out people with pennies. This might come off sounding petty, but ass puffy. I'm pretty sure they gave Joe a heavy bag to turn bad. It's a nightmare where the Freddy set it off on these trackers. Nip already broke the left. He a positive activist and still got killed by a snitch. On top of that, he was a crip and us niggas still ain't convinced. That ain't gonna die by his own So we'd rather make up a myth Like the government conspired this Sent out a hit But this problem's deep-rooted Not just white supremacists This is envy and a jealous nigga On some other shit Laura London lost a king Hip-hop lost a leader The world lost an angel And us niggas still need Jesus Damn Yo, he just He went off, off, bro Like, for real This man went off like straight up but hey man it's like this when i last heard of grizzly hendrix he was on duran the rapper's single or so called say sorry or so sorry something like that but regardless go check out duran the rapper and go find go find him with the him and green grizzly hendrix sorry it's been a long day so sorry but if i'm messing up or so but regardless Go find that out and go support the man. Go support Duran. Go support Grizzly and so on and so. But hey, it's like this. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.